So let's get into it. So here is how I did well in undergrad. So first and foremost, the most important thing, and it seems so intuitive and basic, but to do extremely well at anything, you have to major in something that you like, okay? There is no way on this planet you're going to enjoy doing something you hate. Let's say you don't like science classes. How are you going to force yourself to do science classes? It's very difficult for someone to do things that they don't like. Why would you want to do anything that you don't enjoy? So to do well in undergrad or to do well in anything, period, do something that you like. Learn something you enjoy. I loved eating and I loved working out. So I did nutrition and exercise and I loved my major. I spent time outside of class just learning all I could about my major and the biochemistry. I fell in love with biochemistry and it changed my life. And then I discovered, then I discovered medicine. And I was never a science kid before I went to undergrad and before I chose my major. So you might be surprised by what you start enjoying um, if you do things and focus on the things that you enjoy in school. Two, another basic thing that everyone should know. Remember why you're in college in the first place. And a lot of people have fallen victim to this, especially if they want to go to grad school later, is that they don't prioritize school in the beginning. I know a lot of people who spent all four years of their undergrad just trying to recover from their freshman year of school. Do you know how incredibly difficult that is? Your GPA is only going to go up like maybe 0 0.05 every um, semester. It's very difficult to improve a GPA that's already been harmed in your first semester as a freshman in undergrad. So my biggest, biggest, biggest piece of advice, remember why you're in college in the first place and then go from there. Basically what I'm trying to say is don't go out every weekend. Go out with your friends, enjoy your time, but also remember you're there to um, get good grades. You're watching this video because you want to get good grades, you want to do well, but you have to start on the right foot. And there's, it's not like your life is over, okay? Your life is definitely and certainly not over if you do happen to not do well in your freshman year or in undergrad in general. There's definitely options that you can take to make improvements so then you can go to grad school, specifically med school, in my case, if you're interested in that, I can make a video on your options. Three, talk to your professors. They are the ones that are teaching the classes. They know what they're doing. They want to help the students that want to do well in their class. This is also a great opportunity for you to put a face to the name. They teach hundreds of students every semester and you're just gonna be another one. Don't lose that opportunity to network because if you're trying to go to grad school and you're trying to go to med school, dental school, et cetera, et cetera, you're gonna need recommendations from professors. Making those connections now is incredibly invaluable. So make sure you go consistently, go whenever you need help, make those connections because in the future you could potentially be offered TA positions, um, you can also get research positions. Those are also very important for when you want to build your resume. So definitely go to office hours, make those connections. Number four, this is the technique that I use and I had a 3.94 GPA, graduated summa cum laude from my university. So you're gonna wanna space out your studying. You're going to want to be studying in advance for these exams. And this is where an agenda or an academic calendar comes in handy. So what you're going to do is you're going to plan out your week, okay? I would say, depending on how hard the class is, maybe it's like a really basic class that you're fine with, but still need plenty of time to study. I would maybe plan seven days. Maybe this class is on, let's say, 10 lectures. So from there, 
you're going to want to divide out 10 lectures over seven days. And you're going to want to review all the old and new material as you go along. This is incredibly important. This will help reinforce it and force it into your brain to make sure you're not just memorizing, you're learning. Because when I tell you, you will do so well on the final. I did this for one class. I did it for all my classes, but the one that it worked really well on, I studied for one day for the final and I got a 99. <laughs> this is about being consistent and spacing it out. And if you have a harder class, do 14 days. Take 14 days. Maybe it's only seven lectures, but you're going to review again and again and again. So when I do these sessions, when I space out my time, I review both old and new. So if there's a study guide, I will go back and review the stuff that I did the day before. This is very important. You have to make sure that you review old and new information. Only reason why you're going to do well because everything builds upon each other. So while reviewing this material, if I make one mistake, I repeat the whole thing all over again. Or if I can't say, let's say, all the basic amino acids, for example. But if I can go through the entire list without making a mistake, that's good. We can move on and then come back to it again before the study session's over. But if I cannot go through the entire session without making a mistake, then I will repeat it again and again until I get it right all the way through. Like, name all the basic amino acids. I made a mistake on the third one. Start over from the top again. Go through again. Go through again. Like, repeat again and again and again. And when I feel like I kind of got it, then I teach someone. This is a true test of do I know the material or am I just memorizing it? The person I would always teach is my mom. So find your person. It could literally be a stuffed animal or like a pillow or a wall, but I recommend working with somebody because they can ask you questions. And when they ask you questions, either you know it or you don't know it, and that will fill up gaps in your knowledge that you didn't know you had. So teaching others is incredibly important. I think that was one of the biggest changes I made. And that is when I saw a lot of improvement. I saw my grades rise. It made all the difference. So you should also be using the Pomodoro method of learning. This is basically 45 minutes on, 15 minute break, or you can adjust it accordingly, do whatever you want. I use a timer on my phone. I will share it. I don't remember the name of it, but I will include an image right here. So that is the one I use. I like it because it also includes breaks. I'm not being paid for this, but this is the one that I use. I use the free version, but using this method has helped me, especially on days where I just like don't want to study at all. I like this specific one because it counts how many hours that you study and it also counts the number of breaks you have taken. So I really like the duality that it has. And lastly, I'm still not done with my makeup. Remember to relax. Take time off. Like I know undergrad is a lot, but it's not everything, okay? Remember that rest is not a reward. It is a necessity. You can't put in high quality work if you're exhausted and burnt out. So make sure that you take time off, make sure to rest, hang out with your friends because yes, you're in your undergrad, whatever university to study, but you're also there to make memories. This is a once in a lifetime opportunity to be in an environment where you're surrounded by kids that are your age. You're never gonna have an opportunity like that again. So make sure to enjoy it, but also balance is everything. So prioritize yourself. You're gonna have to say no to a lot of things, and but you will say yes to a lot of things. I was a junior when COVID hit and I missed the entirety of my senior year and I banked on having a lighter class load my senior year. I was not able to fully enjoy my senior year of college because of COVID. So don't wait for senior year to finally enjoy yourself. Actually 
enjoy yourself throughout the entirety of your experience. I was about to say entirety of the thing, but entirety of the experience, okay? So have fun. If you want to see me finish the rest of my makeup, I can do that really quick. Let's do it. Additionally, you're going to want to schedule like a pro. So at my school, we had this thing called a grade distribution chart. It gave you the letter grade of by number, like how many people got this letter grade, how many people got that letter grade, um, and how many people withdrew, all of the above. So it was very helpful and it showed that for each professor of each class over a period of years. So in order to schedule, I would balance out my classes. So if you're taking, let's say, OCHEM, don't take a bunch of other science classes that might harm you taking this class. You know, I did take biochemistry and physics together. That was tough, but I was a junior by then and I'd figured out what works for me how my studying works and how I could do well. And I got an A in both classes. So make sure you prioritize and balance out your classes. That will also lead you to success. Um, again, if you have any questions, let me know. Please like and subscribe and leave a comment. Ask me any questions if you have any and turn your notifications on. So you don't miss a video okay else and look out for a video on how to get into med school in the future bye